Ray-Ban Story Smart Glasses. Are they the perfect way to take photos and videos to the next level? Well, stay tuned and we will find out. All right, guys. Ray-Ban Story Facebook Smart Glasses. Crazy. My wife gave them to me as a Christmas present. So I've had them for a week. I've been trialing them, seeing what they're all about. Didn't even know they existed until Christmas Day. These are my thoughts. Not sponsored whatsoever, but just my thoughts on the Ray-Ban sunglasses. Let me take them off. We're inside for Christ's sakes. All right. They are a beautiful with sunglasses. They're, you know, Ray-Ban make wonderful products of course they make wonderful products but who's going to use these the everyday person yeah maybe someone that likes gadgets and and electronic stuff yeah maybe a photographer no they're not they as cool as they are they're a toy you know they're just something to have a bit of fun with and to use when you think about it. Other than that, for the price of them, it's very hefty. Uh, they're quite expensive. I don't think they're just quite worth it. You know, only a five megapixel camera in both lenses. Uh, one lens takes the photo and one lens takes the video. So they're not together, so you don't get 10 me megapixels. It's only five. So the video is in square a square format so in for Instagram and Facebook which is really good because it's linking up with Facebook um, the app you use links up with Facebook so yeah that's good if you want to capture something in the moment and flick it straight off to Facebook without see that doesn't even really make sense because you can just use your phone to do that and it would be a lot easier but I guess it's the different point of view that you get from the, your sunglasses. Um, but look, I, I've had fun with them. I, I really do enjoy them. I like them. I think they're quite cool. Um, and I've never had Ray-Bans before, so I'm really stoked with them. Um, Audio-wise, uh, the sound is okay. If you're just walking down the street or you're skateboarding along the footpath or something like that and you just want a bit of music on um, but you still want to be able to hear your surroundings, they're really good for that. Uh, if you want loud music, put headphones in your ears because these are not loud. Um, they're nowhere near loud enough to be even driving with them on with the window down. Um, you won't hear the music. Phone calls, perfect for taking phone calls. Uh, amazing, you know, for some strange reason, speech is so much clearer than music. Um, but yeah, so but they're really good for phone calls. So if you like that, then that's the, that's the way to go. Uh, easy little button just here. Let me get out of the shot just here to turn them on. And you'll get lights flashing on the other side and that indicates that it's turning on and then when it boosts up it will tell you that what battery percentage 100% uh, easiest way to take a photo is press and hold it takes the photo or press once and it starts recording and you can see the little light indicating that it's recording just here then you either press it again to stop it or after 60 seconds it will turn itself off so let's throw to a bit of footage that I've recorded over the week um, and you can guys can judge if the uh, the quality is good enough for you or not um, look I think it's fine uh, for what it is for such a tiny little camera. I think it does a really good job. 
So you can decide, so let's roll that footage. All right, here we are doing a video test with the Ray-Ban Story Smart Glasses. Yes, you heard it right. Smart glasses made by Ray-Ban. You can capture video, audio, and pictures all through your sunglasses. They come in a rechargeable case, and it is a gorgeous case. Gorgeous case, leather bound. The glasses just fold up and clip in and charge straight there. Yeah, it's so good. So the charging case will charge the camera, uh, camera. Oh, yeah, I guess it is, the glasses up for about four times. Um, the glasses themselves with moderate use will last three hours. Uh, with heavy full on use, uh, it will suck the battery up within an hour. It will only take 15 30 second videos before it is full or 500 photos. It's only got about a four gig memory in it, but when you link it up with the app on your phone, it automatically will dump all those photos or videos directly onto your phone and then it's wiped clear so you can continue on again. Who should buy them? Look, if you've got a spare $400 left over, uh, buy them. Um, but I think they're, they're, they are a, a quite a novelty item. Um, I love them. I reckon they're great. For me, I reckon they're great because I like gadgety stuff. So, um, but I don't think they're worth it for the every, everyday consumer. I just don't think that they're worth their money you know you could spend four hundred dollars on a second hand camera or even a brand new one nearly these days and uh and take far better photos and videos than what you could at a pair of these if you want to have a bit of fun when you're walking the dog or you're playing with the kids or or something like that and you just want to and you don't have your phone on you and you want to record something then yeah they're great for that um but I wear them every day. I forget that they're even a camera. You know, and I forget they're even Bluetooth speakers to be able to listen to to music because I just put my AirPods in because they're louder. Are they worth it? Look, if you like those type of things, yes. But I don't think they're the everyday person item at all anyway guys if you think any of this was any worth anything to you uh, please leave me a like subscribe let's put it over here uh, links for everything that I use will be down below and uh, I'll see you next time and welcome to 2023